Hello, all my pretties. Welcome to Witch Around with Leslie. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so today I, was, today I was like right about to do my makeup and I was going to try this new product. And like I heard so many good things about it that I decided to do it with y'all instead. I decided to share with you guys and let y'all know what I think about it. Um, and if it in fact it is worth buying, even though it's only $5. $5. So, um, I mean, you can't beat that already. It's already, like, price-wise, it's already, I'm already on its side. <laughs> um, the, I, the product that we're doing is a Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. It's right here. Um, it is, like, 0.9 fluid ounces for five bucks. Wet n Wild, I love Wet n Wild. Wait a minute, we're supposed to go like and subscribe. So go like and subscribe, comment, um, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any more of me and my, um, reviews, shenanigans, all that good stuff. So, um, now that we've done all that, moving on. Um, so it has hyaluronic acid, um, which seems to be like the new, like, miracle skin thing these days. Everybody's all the way about the hy hyaluronic acid. Lightweight, non-greasy finish, sheer to medium, Okay. And that's what I always look for is like medium. I'm going to read you a little bit more about it before we continue. That way we know exactly what we're getting into. So it says, um, I got in my little my little printout right here. Um, this tinted hydrator with hyaluronic acid and vegan squalane. I don't even know what that is just yet, but I'm going to have to look it up soon. Is a one-way ticket to quench perfection. Our new Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator features buildable sheer to medium coverage with a semi-matte finish for a naturally flawless and nourished glow. Okay, that sounds nice already. The lightweight and multi-purpose formula delivers an instantly radiant and hydrated complexion in a range of versatile shades. Um, when I looked on the Wet n Wild side, I think it had maybe, I don't know, I remember it was 12 shades, somewhere around there. Um, it has buildable coverage. Watch as lines and imperfections fade away. Really? Hmm. This lightweight hydrator features buildable seamless coverage from sheer to finish. Intensely hydrating, a dream come true for normal and dry skin. This tinted hydrator is lightweight, moisturizing, and nourishing. They keep throwing nourishing at us. Leaving your skin happy and beautiful. I hope so. I really could use some help here. <laughs> um... Semi-matte finish, improve your complexion in an instant while achieving a soft semi-matte finish that leaves a perfect base for any makeup routine. It has multiple shades. With so many colors available, it's easy to find a perfect color match for your unique skin tone. On the website, they didn't have so many. Maybe they have some available somewhere else um, that I haven't found yet. I'm not sure. It is cruelty-free. Yay! Wet n' Wild products are never tested on animals and always cruelty-free. Okay. So let's get to this. Let's go ahead and put this on, see how it looks, um, and then I'll leave it on for a little bit and um, come back and let you know what I really think of it. Now, I'm not, I live in the in Texas where it's like 105 today, so I, think, I don't think it's fair to, to any product of any brand to put it to the test outside on a day like this. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go about my regular routine that I do here or go to the store or whatever of that nature that I you know, end up doing today. Um, so we're gonna, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get it, get, get it put on. I'm gonna do, um, afterwards I'm going to do my regular, um, which is like setting powder, a little bit of setting powder, um, blush, uh, highlighter and stuff like that. So let's get going. Got my little, uh, my brush. I did wash it off so that there wasn't any, uh, product residue, although it is pretty stained. And the color that I got was medium tan. I got medium tan. I think that was the four to five. Um, they, they were numbered also. Let's do this. Pull our hair back a little bit. Okay. Okay, so far, uh, color actually looks pretty good. Hmm. And this is one of those products where like you don't know if it's gonna look better 
with a blending brush, I mean a blending sponge, or a, a brush like this, a little stipple brush. So I'm not liking the way it's applying with this brush. Um, so I think it's time to switch to a beauty blender. Blender right here. Put a little bit on here. And let's try it like this. So I mean when you I mean, I don't think y'all can see it, but I can see like the little the little brush marks from that one. Much better. Much better, guys. Okay, I wanted to put it on one side of my face first. Just so you see if I could tell a difference. And you definitely can tell that you're wearing makeup. Which is okay because I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, if you're wearing makeup. <laughs> so as far as the color, not too bad. I probably could have gone with a little bit darker maybe. But we're going to see if it evens out a little bit. It is pretty dewy. I don't know if you can see how dewy it is. There's kind of leaving a shine, but... It kind of makes the health, the skin look healthy sometimes. Okay, this is a hydrating product. So if you have oily skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this for you. Um, I'm actually liking the color some. Kind of, I think. Maybe I should go a little bit darker. Especially since it's summer and I tend to go a shade darker. I'm liking what the setting powder does to it. Makes it less shiny. Okay, and I'm one that doesn't like oily products. Um... But I decided to give this shot, this uh, product a shot anyway. Okay, so, um, well, this is my my makeup. So it is Saturday, July 9th, and it is 4:28 p.m. Um, so we'll see what happens in a few hours. I'm, I'll be back, to let you know what I think of it, give you my final thoughts. Um, so see you for my final thoughts in a little bit. 9.32 on July 9th, uh, Saturday, same day, just uh, almost five hours later. And um, my final thoughts on this product is that it's really good, for, especially for the price. Um, it had, The coverage was buildable. Um, it was it is very sheer with just one layer, and then, but if you build it, it, it does cover more, um, and I like it. It's very lightweight. Um, it, my face, you know, it says it's a, a hydrator, so I thought, you know, it's gonna get all oily and stuff, and it, it didn't. It didn't get oily. Um, I didn't really see. I didn't see any creasing. Um, I think it just really well after five hours. Um, and I really don't have any complaints. I probably could have gotten a darker, a little bit, a slightly darker color, but that's on me. That's not. Um, on on Wet n Wild's fault. So um, it is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator, and um, I got the shade. Um, what is it? Medium tan, which was the four to five, and I sh I'll, I'm going to try the darker one next time. But um, it is a tinted skin veil, and. Um, and it is non-greasy. It says it right here, non-greasy finish, and it is a non-greasy finish, and it did not get greasy. Um, I even went outside for a minute, and a lot of times when I put on moisturizer, it just, my face gets slimy. Um, 
with this it did not get slimy at all um, it withstood it I wasn't out there that long and it did really well um, I'm very surprised and happy with the outcome um, considering that it's only five dollars so um, it's a pretty good product I will I will I'll buy it again um, in fact I might even switch it out for my regular because I didn't even have to put on um, a cream or facial or a facial cream or moisturizer before putting this on. I just put on a primer and then this, and I don't see like really any creasing or cracking or crackling or um, anything like that. So, um, no, these are my natural wrinkles. So just don't mind that any. Um, I'm pretty stoked about this product actually it's it does what it says it does and now I see why it's so popular uh, this is really cool and I still need to find out what the squalane is <laughs> but um, yeah this I, I I definitely for the for the, especially for the price I definitely recommend this product um, unless you have oily skin do not use it if you have your oily skin though okay um, so that's it that is my review that is the, my final thoughts on this product. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it has answered some of your questions that you may have had on this product. And um, I hope you have uh, happy times and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.